I fit in the global landscape as a woman? I am a father. I am eager, willing, and friendly. On a global perspective, I hope that my artwork speaks volumes. Soy determinado y soy abierto a, a cosas y me gusta aprender. I am a veteran, I am a writer, I am a lifelong learner. Pues soy Alex Holt y estoy aquí estudiando el español en Weber State University. I believe studying Spanish transcends national boundaries um, because it's allowed me to feel like I don't just belong to the United States. It's opened up my worldview, learning not only how to communicate, but learning why maybe somebody from a different country like Mexico or Guatemala or Brazil acts the way they do. It allows me to be able to interact with them on a more personal way instead of treating them like somebody that's different than me. I think that the skills that I learned here at Weber State University in the art department really has helped me have a different language that I didn't have before. The process of doing these pieces, it's really interesting and really informative because I, I suffer from anxiety myself. And when you look at the material, it's somewhat chaotic because there's a lot of strings and there's a lot of holes, but it's really just put into place really neatly and it's kind of nice to have control. When people see my artwork, I want them to take away it. Sort of a sense of peace. I'm trying to speak to that community on a world scale about anxiety and just that it's a very human thing to go through. I mean, I'm just, I'm just a student, but I feel like if I'm making artwork that talks about something that's really global, then perhaps I'll have a bigger role. I think that my artwork speaks volumes. The way my work transcends national boundaries is by my focus on uh, global literature, global topics. I am a Shakespeare scholar, but I also study adaptations of Shakespeare in Asian countries, particularly Japan. I have uh, presented in conferences in Taiwan, and I've been allowed to uh, work with people globally in my studies. I think literature has done more to change the world than anything else. In Afghanistan, one of my jobs was to guard the gate into our compound, and we would work hand in hand with some of the locals there. And every one of them that I spoke to said that they were saving their money so they could come to America and learn. You know, people from Afghanistan who grew up with nothing are trying to save up money to come to America to get an education. So that was really kind of a, a kick in the butt for me <laughs> to get me to come over here and, and do my best. And when I came home, I realized the only way to really do that was to be able to get my education, you know, to learn how to put those words on page as best as possible. My ability to be able to tell stories of people's lives, whether it's fictional or nonfiction, is really going to, you know, end up changing the world. I mean, writing always changes the world. That's where it begins. Weber State University has absolutely made my perspective of theater grow so much. You know, there's a purpose to so much of theater. There's, you know, there's an urgency for it and there's so many things that we need and so many things that people need to know and that we can explain and inform through theater. Last year, we had the opportunity to do a season of all original works and I got to originate a role in two different plays. I was assistant director for Arcadia I got to work side by side with Professor Kokai, who was the director of the show. Try it again, and even though you don't have it, it was a really challenging and rewarding experience. And what I really hope to do is, you know, inspire other kids who don't exactly know what they want to do, maybe, or don't feel like they fit in, to find theater because it was absolutely what I needed and what I still need and what I'm going to need for the rest of my life. And I'm so happy I found it. What I have learned at Weber State University that will help me shape the world's future are the many aspects of communication, the many aspects of equality, and the many aspects of respecting those around me. When I was young, I had drug-addicted parents. It's really weird when you have drug-addicted parents because you have all these dreams and you have all of these aspirations and what you want to do. And growing up, I was able to go and live with one of my best friends and they adopted me into their family. And from that moment forward, I knew that 
I needed to be the person that I wanted to be. And I knew that higher education was the way that I was going to change my life. I intend to change the world with my degree from Weber State University by being the person that the world needs to see. I want to treat people with kindness. I want to treat people with respect. As a future public relations practitioner, I'll be moving to San Francisco and I'll be working in the tech industry. And I'm super excited to take the skills that I've learned here in the communication department and be the example all around the world. I think opening yourself up to becoming a true world citizen allows you to realize how small you are. It really allows you to communicate and, and to, to make that connection that not necessarily with words, but with feelings and with emotion that only humans can express with those that you would not be able to otherwise. I want to explore and experience what the world has to offer and I want to live the culture, I don't want to observe it. I want to be a global citizen.